As recently as 20 years ago, this stretch of rugged, windblown coastline in southern Oregon was just that, a rugged and windblown coastline. Driving through, you never could have imagined what it would become. Home to Bandon Dunes Golf Resort, and four bucket list courses, Bandon Dunes, Pacific Dunes, Bandon Trails, and Old McDonald. You've probably heard and read a lot about Bandon Dunes, the sprawling, ever-expanding resort here on the southern Oregon coast. But if you haven't been here, you might not get what all the fuss is about. It's not all that easy to get here, and the weather isn't, as you can see, always ideal. The wind whips, the rain can roll in. This is Lynx Golf hard on the coast. It's not perfectly manicured like Augusta or some of the other meccas of American golf. Maybe if you share Donald Trump's taste, it's not your place. So what is it exactly about Bandon? What's the big deal? To begin with, the golf, dummy. Two decades ago, a then little-known golf developer named Mike Kaiser fell in love with this land. He commissioned a little-known Scottish architect named David McClay Kidd to build a golf course on it. Bandon Dunes opened in 1999. Pacific Dunes followed three years later. Then came Bandon Trails, and in 2010, Old MacDonald. Each course has its quirky charms, from cliffside par threes to wild, sprawling greens. But the question must be asked, which course reigns supreme? I like Bandon Trails, I like the walk, I like the woods. I think it's the most difficult and I think it has the highest shot values. If I was probably picking a course, I'd probably pick Bandon Dunes. I just like it, I think it's very scenic, uh, but Old MacDonald's a close second. Uh, Old Mac, actually, and I uh, like that course basically because of the architect, MacDonald. Did a lot of courses on Long Island, uh, one of the first architects around, and I love the Scottish Lynx courses. Bandon Trails, it's a little bit more difficult for me and it reminds me a little bit more of the courses in Wisconsin where I grew up, a little bit more tree, a little bit of water. Uh, it's more of a challenge for me. I, I love them all. It's like picking among, you know, perfect apples. It's not just the courses that make Bandon special, it's the vibe, the intense golfiness that permeates the place. There's no swimming pool, no froofy spa, no chandeliers dangling from the clubhouse ceiling. At Bandon, golf comes first, last, and everywhere in between. If you're a band in dunes, you love golf, you're here to play the game, and you're here to, to play Lynx golf, and, and that's kind of what the vibe is. Everything here is geared around that golf experience. Ultimately, when you come here, you're with that same type of like-minded person, whether they're in your group or just other guests here, you're gonna be talking about the same things. You're gonna be talking about the golf you had on the course. You know, you don't care about the weather that you've you had. You almost prefer to have you know, that day during your trip of some wind and some rain so you can, you know, claim that badge of honor of your Band of Dunes trip. So it's just all geared around golf. Here's a novel idea for those of us who are always beating ourselves up out on the course. The game's supposed to be fun, and nowhere in the country do you find a golf resort that offers more fun golf than Band of Dunes. Just the vast array of quirky shots you have to hit, the knockdowns, the bump and runs, the putts from way off the green. And it doesn't get much quirkier than out here on Old McDonald. I'm standing on the fifth green, which has a shared green with the par four tenth hole. You can see the flag stick in the background. On Old McDonald, there's more than 255,000 square feet of green. You may not be able to imagine how much that amounts to, but let's just say that it has larger greens than any golf course in the country. Look where I left my tee shot over there, far, far away. I'm gonna, it's, it's in another area code. I'm on the green, but this is my putt that I've got. I'm gonna go hitch a ride over and, and, and take a whack at it. You have golfers who have saved years worth of their income to come and play here for a few days and there are guys that come here every year and before they leave they've already booked their next trip. Another thing about Band and Dunes is that the resort just keeps evolving. What started 15 years ago with one golf course has grown to include four 18-hole golf courses. They've since added a par 3 course and now most recently the Punch Bowl. This is a giant practice green. You can see all the guys out there and some women as well putting behind me. It's roughly the size of two football fields. It's just a vast area to come out and practice your putting, play gambling games, fun games with your friends. It's just another way that Bandon engages you and makes it all golf all the time. You can see how huge this property is too. There's just one putt. Four. You'll sleep well at Bandon. One, because you'll be whipped after 36 wind whipped holes. And two, because the accommodations are exactly what you'd want. Cozy, but not frilly. Single rooms in the lodge and inn, four bedroom cottages with fireplaces and patios shaded by towering pines. Hungry? You've got options. From hearty pub fare at McKee's to fancier food at the gallery restaurant, which does dishes like braised pork cheeks and grilled steelhead. So you just played 36, you spent an entire day walking, you're whipped, 
you're happy, you're hungry. What are you gonna eat? You're gonna have a wheatgrass smoothie? No, Bandon Dunes has food that fits the place. Uh, a couple of the iconic dishes here, you got grandma's meatloaf here, a hearty serving of meatloaf, top with a tangle of onion rings, some greens. And right here, a Fred Flintstone-like lamb stew right there on the shank. This is golf food as it's meant to be. Whether you end your days at Bandon at McKee's Pub or shooting pool in the bunker bar, the conversation is likely to revolve around, you guessed it, golf. That's the magic of this place. In spite of its remoteness, in spite of the foul conditions it can throw at you, it continues to bring together golfers, hardcore golfers, on a getaway they won't soon forget. When you're not in your office, you're not, you know, answering phone calls or emails, you're, you're here playing golf with three other good buddies. Uh, let's, not, let's not forget where you're at.